talk about this great uh, article that we found recently. Hungary, can we applaud for the nation of Hungary? I thought you were saying you were hungry. <laughs> I am that as well. <laughs> Hungary has become the first government to open an office specifically to address the growing issue of persecution of Christians in the Middle East and Europe. Wow, and we know that, you know, we've had an office of religious persecution Well, in that's what I was gonna say, that closed. And it wasn't just for Christians. It right. Was, well, which is good, like to right, represent and fight for all faiths that are persecuted, but it's kind of cool that it's for Christians. So I love this quote. It says, today Christianity has become the most persecuted religion where out of five people killed for religious re reasons, four of them are Christians. And this is from Hungary's Minister of Human Capacities. And so they're trying to figure out how this is all going to work. They're still working on all, of, you know, all the kinks and stuff. But... I think this is great. I think Hungary is going to become a world leader in something that I know you've been talking and reporting Absolutely. a lot about is the persecution of Christians all across our world. Well, when you think about, you know, that it's the most persecuted group in the world that, you know, just in the last few years, there's been more people killed than the previous 19 centuries yeah. combined. Yeah. Like, it is such a huge thing and we never hear about it on the news. That's why it's important for me to talk about it. You know, part of our biblical mandate as followers of Jesus is to be a voice for the voiceless, mm. speak up for those who are vulnerable. And I just feel like if we don't do it, who's going to do it? Nobody's talking about it. And then to see Hungary, I guess they're talking about it, right? And we're talking about it.